It's Three Minute Thursday. Hey, welcome back to Three Minute Thursday. This week, we're gonna talk about something very important. If you've been here for a little while, thank you very much. You may remember a few weeks ago, I showed a tool called Danger Zone, which allows you to install a little app on your computer. You can then take files that you think might be a little bit dangerous, pop them into it, and it'll do some checks. It works locally on your machine and doesn't really put you at much risk. And in this video, I just wanna highlight another tool that's very popular that you might have heard of called Virus Total and show you some of the risks that it poses. So three minutes on the clock and let's roll. Okay, as you can see, it was a Spanish security company originally. It was bought by Google and then it's now part of Chronicle, which is a subsidiary of Google. So when you give data to Virus Total, you give data to Google. Now, this is what Virus Total looks like. You can see here there's files, URLs, and search. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload a file, this one. Let's pop it in there, confirm the upload. It uploads it into the tool. And now it is analyzing, here's the hash of the file. That's the unique sort of fingerprint of this file. It's doing static and dynamic analysis across, I think around 70 different security vendor tools. You might see some common names in here, McAfee, Kaspersky, Google. Who else we got? Bitdefender. And as you can see, it's undetected because that isn't malware, even though it's my ugly mug, it still isn't malware. So that file is in there, it's in the virus total database. What does that mean? That means that anyone with a paid virus total account can download and see that picture of me. When you upload that Word document that you think might be malware to virus total, if you just upload it like I did, you've just submitted it into the community and it's free for all and paid users can download the file and see it. So if you upload a whole bunch of client documentation with bank account numbers and passport photos and things in here, it's in the wild and you've just had a pretty big data breach that will probably make the news. And you can see that here. So in the documentation, always read the docs, private scanning, this allows you to upload files into Varus Total and do it in a private way. So it will create a little private area for you. It'll check whatever you upload without submitting it to the community. Now, if it does detect bad stuff, malware, for example, in that file, it'll recommend that you submit it to the community, but you don't have to. So the bottom line, if you're gonna use Varus Total and you need to submit information into it, I recommend that you use a paid account and use private scanning. Be careful where you submit your data, folks. I'll see you next week.